I'm Corinne. I'm Thomas. <laughs> Good morning. Welcome to the Chill Spot. I'm Corinne, and this is Drake. I'm sitting up really far. <laughs> I don't know why. I was like He's ready to leave because I'm so excited to talk about what I got to talk about today. I haven't taken a nap. I haven't taken a nap since that day. I got caught taking a nap. <laughs> um, oh, but no. we came. I really, 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 really. I could say really a lot of times. Speaking of er, squirrel, I don't know why I just thought about this. When the lady comes to your table at Olive Garden and she says, "Do you want cheese on this?" If you never say stop, would they keep going? I don't know. We need to try that out. Seriously. I think about it every time I'm there. All I picture in my head, the room filling up with cheese. So I want to talk about CNA stories. Mm -hmm. And everyone has a story. Everyone's story matters. You know, like I can talk a little bit about me, my CNA story. I would say it's going to start all the way back to when I was eight, starting to volunteer in a nursing home. When I wrote my CNA story, you know, that's where I started at. And I just worked from there. What changed in that from 8 to 27? You know, there's been a lot of stuff that has happened. And all of that is part of my story. Mm -hmm. Here at the National Association of Healthcare Assistants, we are still accepting CNA stories until this Sunday, March 31st. And then we will no longer be accepting them. We are accepting these stories with a goal to publish a book of right. CNA stories so everyone in the world can see what a CNA goes through. You know, it's not the easiest. There have been CNAs of our association who have been walking miles to work in the wintertime. There have been people that have had to go weeks without one utility or another. So CNA life isn't easy. And we want people to see everything that you give to help someone else have a better life. So we're asking, submit your stories if you haven't already. We are not looking for any grammatically correct stuff. Um, we're not looking at punctuation. If you can tell, I probably don't even speak correctly. <laughs> so that's not what we're looking for. We're looking for passion. Mm -hmm. Why do you do what you do? What keeps you doing what you do? And what brought you into doing what you do? Most of us have something like, my mom used to do it. My grandma used to do it. My aunt used to do it. My older sister does it. In my life, all those people worked in healthcare. So that is true for me. So most people have a connection one way or another, how they got into the industry. You know, we want to hear that. Who has inspired you in the industry? For me, I could write a whole book alone on who my inspirations in healthcare have been. We want to hear that stuff. You know, don't be afraid to throw in the struggles that you've went through. You know, if... You went through a challenging time with childcare when you were a single mom working as a CNA. You know, if there were challenges, those are also part of your story. We're not just looking for the glitz, glam, happy stuff. Real life CNA stories we're looking for by Sunday, March 31st. So submit them. Right. We want reality stories. Yeah. You know, don't sugarcoat it. We want to know exactly what it's like to be a CNA. There's no shame in being a CNA. You know, I did not start out in healthcare. I did not want nothing to do with, with healthcare until I got into the middle of another career that I had my heart set on doing and things didn't work out, but I did have a CNA class during that time that I was trying to reach another goal in another career yeah. that led me to be, you know, a CNA today. So um, please send us your stories. They do not have to be fi uh, 500 words. Yeah, there's no word you count. Know. Yeah. There's, you know, we just want your story if, yeah. if it's... 500,000 mm -hmm. words. Get it over here. Yeah. We'll read it. Yeah. You know, there's so many, there people, too many people are ashamed of being a mm -hmm. CNA. And, you know, I, just a few weeks ago, I got a message um, from a potential member. They are not a member yet. 60 years old. They're taking their CNA class and they're the oldest one in the class and they were so ashamed about it. All I could tell them is, Think of how great it's going to be 
when you can go into a building and make more connections than anybody else in your CNA class with the people you're taking care of. Right. You're never too old. And it, I, you know, it takes a special person. No. I literally think anybody that's dedicated and passionate could do what we do. But you chose to do it. So now let people know why you chose to do it and why you keep doing it. Right. You have it in your heart. You know, a lot, CNAs have, I feel, a lot of ambition. Mm-hmm. You know, in them in themselves to learn and to grow and to want to take care of our elders. And if you you think about it, um, like you said, anybody can do it. You just have to want to do it. You have to have the desire and the passion to be a CNA. Quality CNA. Exactly. Exactly. Not everybody can do. Everyone can do it, but everyone cannot do it do correctly. It. Right. Exactly. So I want to know why you're doing it correctly. What mm -hmm. has kept you around? So email your stories to myself or Lisa mm -hmm. Sweet. You have until Sunday, the 31st. Um, I can't say I won't make any exceptions for stories after that, but my goal is to make that the strict cutoff deadline. So get them over. Mm -hmm. If you want to write it, feel free to do that. Mail it. If you want to type it up, go ahead and do that. Just get your CNA story to us sometime. It would be so cool at you as a CNA to walk in to your building and be like, guys, my story is published mm -hmm. in this book. Yeah, exactly. And something else, you can also go to YouTube and subscribe to CNA TV like Drake oh, has yeah. on his t-shirt. And check out Lisa Sweet CNA Heroes and listen mm -hmm. to their stories they are filled with passion and i mean it's amazing that they are just everyday cnas like we exactly. are that went above and beyond and didn't even realize what they were mm -hmm. what they were doing you know so please send us your stories you don't have to you don't have to be a hero you don't have to have saved but you're all someone's a hero. life yeah we just and you want, all have a story exactly we just want to know what you do every single day when you walk into that that building we want the bad we want the ugly you know we we just want to hear from you all right get those stories over i'll be waiting and we will be starting to work on getting them typed up to a point that we can get them combined together to make a book so i look forward to reading all of your stories and until next time remember that you matter.